Okay, making a quick video on this uh, SMD surface mount soldering practice circuit. Um, I'm breaking it up um, according to an instructable I found online. Give credit where credit's due. This guy, uh, I think it's by Maker's Box. And uh, following his instructions. <coughs> so went about it with um, first putting in this 555 IC. Two of these resistors. Two capacitors. Um, another resistor over here and then the diode and if you do it all correctly and get it in there it should blink quickly when you're done um, the only thing you need to worry about the polarity on is the small diode um, there's a green side on, on mine that indicates uh, negative so I think it's kind of hit or miss but you can find out you know worst case scenario you can use a multimeter but you can generally find your stuff online that you need and then the only other thing is to make sure on the 555 IC that you get the one pin oriented correctly if you check the schematic the five pin which is uh, this dude over here if you you know had it inverse runs directly to this first capacitor here uh, I guess that's right there so you can see if you look at the trace I forget which way it goes but you can tell which one you know which one is five based on that so all right I'm gonna do the next part one quick note here before we get to part two. The schematic shows a value of 470 for that resistor. My kit didn't come with any 470s, but it had 331s. Um, so I substituted that in there. And then all the other LEDs. Looks like they've got 10K on all the circular ones. And then the ones in the corner, I think, have uh, resistors of 1K. So in the second part is just uh, putting in this other IC, which is a little tricky. Um, again, make sure you have your uh, one pin lined up and then the two resist the resistor and the diode and make sure you have the correct, uh, correct polarity on the diode. Uh, I think this all worked out, so we'll give it a check. Every tenth one, every tenth blink, it should come on like that. And we'll move on to the next piece. Okay, so again, the resistors that called for for each of the LEDs um, didn't exist in my kit, uh, but not a big deal. I had these uh, 331s, and so I just put those everywhere, uh, you know, in the circle for the LEDs. Then, <laughs> if you get it, um, don't fret if instantly, if you think you did a good job on all the LEDs and the resistors and you've checked the polarity on all of them, and it's correct, don't fret, uh, because remember in the second part of this, uh, when we put in this second IC, you need to really check that all of the legs, if you have some that aren't lighting up, check the legs on that IC. I had two of them that uh, I thought I had reversed the polarity or something, but it was actually the legs on there. So let's check it out again. All right, looks like it's working. Okay, for the next part, you're going to do five components. Um, looks like D12, R61, Q1, D16, and R65. Um, and so what that is, is I blocked out. This was the first thing we did. Here's D12. I think that's R65. No, I can't read, but it's going to be <laughs> these three of the transistors up here. Uh, one of the blue LEDs right here, I think that's D16. Uh, this is probably um, R65, so that would make this R61. Um, yep. All right. And so here it is. Let's see real quick. I'm running this at 6 volts. Oh, it's green. I thought it was blue. All right. So check that out. And then once you do that, uh, repeat the process, troubleshooting each time and do the four corners. A couple of things you're going to need to check polarity on are the LED diodes and then D, what is it, D12 through 16 here. Let me show you how it kind of manifests itself. So you can see these are bright green over here. And these are just very dim. Weak, girly man green. All right, I'll come back on in a second. I'm going to switch. I don't know if you can see here, but the polarity on it, those are off. So let me uh, change that, and I'll show you how it looks once I'm done. All right, so that's it. Remember, if you got a DSOT or something, use this uh, quick chip, fast chip, whatever it is. 
uh, so you can move those around. Remember to check your polarity. And there it is with the green LEDs blinking very bright. So, all right, good luck. Have fun.